that in a while. So the dust finally settles on yet another battle, or more to the point, two of them. And much to my surprise, the Thunderfoot channel is still rolling on. The first was the DMCA dispute with Dr. Craig videos. Well, I filed the counter notice, and what do you know? I won. Humiliation. And curiously enough, on the very day that that video went back up, Dr. Craig videos announced that he was giving up YouTube to concentrate on his personal life. And then back to back with that came this latest round of baseless flaggings and privacy complaints, all of which have now been either reversed or been determined to be without grounds. You know, when I look back at the battle on us that this channel has accumulated, I'm constantly stunned that it's still here. It's now two showdowns with YouTube, and in both cases, me doing the necessary thing and putting the channel on the table as collateral and risking the ban hammer. Do I have anything to lose by being shut down by YouTube? Of course. Do I value the work of this channel? Yeah, sure. I just value free speech more. And in both cases, somewhat to my surprise, having everything restored. And I have to say that I think it was your overwhelming support that was a decisive factor in determining the outcome of that. Then there was two DMCA counter notices filed against that media corporation Viacom. And yeah, damn straight, if I knew the law well enough to counterfile against Viacom, it'll end up with someone like this when people misuse it as a censorship weapon. Then there was the Dr. Craig videos thing, where the goal quickly shifted to actually taking him to court. Eh, the last chronic abuser got away with merely an apology. Plus, this guy was purportedly acting on behalf of a million-dollar corporation, and thanks to the donations that his channel had previously received, all of which I was more than happy to put on the table to make this happen. I mean, sure, it was nowhere near enough to fully finance such a case, but it was enough to show a level of seriousness about it. Regrettably, it hit a technical snag, which I really can't go into, but I can tell you that Dr. Craig Videos has now narrowly escaped going to court. But it looks like you could see the writing on the wall in that he quit the very day that the counter notice came through. And then there was the Dawa Films thing. The guy who dropped my docs. The guy who tried to get me fired, apparently operating under the delusion that after the public forum thought he was crazy and the legal forum and YouTube wouldn't take him seriously, that if he complained enough to an Ivy League university, that somehow they would come to a completely different conclusion. Incidentally, Dawa Films is crazy. I mean, we're talking, we must destroy America type crazy that you could only get with a education from a top Islamic school. I am currently sitting in the middle of uh, the mosque uh, that is um, uh, here at Istak, um, a division of uh, UIA, which is one of the, probably the most prestigious Islamic schools in the world, um, and also one of the best in Malaysia. Uh, I have traveled from the United States here to Kuala Lumpur for the sake of education. This is from his blog. While secular humanism is the mother of irrationality, capitalism is its ultimate manifestation. Human rights is the codification and the method by which it continues to breathe. To know ourselves, to save ourselves, we must destroy it. We must reject our mother, as her lovers were rejected time and time again. And there's some quote from the Quran. To us, however, we must go beyond this. For our true mother is not secular humanism. We are only her children because we don't know who has truly given us birth. What? Anyway, um, and we illegitimately claim her as our genesis by which we live. In this sense, we should not treat her kindly at all, but remove the shackles of her nurture from our backs and decry her to the whoredom which she belongs. For as long as we are her offspring, we will forever be the transmitters of her disease. And yeah, just when you think he can't get any more radicalized, he comes out with this exchange on a recent comment section. Human rights doesn't because it is inherently intolerant of absolute perspectives on religion. Thus, the freedom of ideas to ultimately manifest themselves has to be the primary of yada yada yada. America is not my government. It does not represent me. I do not support it. I am only using the citizenship to get my way elsewhere in the world. Fuck yeah, you should be on a watch list. 
talking about destroying the very essence of the country you're a citizen of, while simultaneously saying that you are only using that citizenship to get elsewhere in the world. And then after that, you have the nerve to tell people to Thunderfoot, I've been a naturalized citizen of the United States all my life. Essentially 26 years. You've been in my country for probably not even half of that. So let me give you some advice. Just like a lot of Islamophobes say to Muslims, get out of my country and go home. Maybe you ought to listen to this guy. He seems to be talking sort of some sense at this point. This is your idol that you have created out of your own hatred and spite. You don't want to be treated like a terrorist. You don't want to be called a terrorist. You don't want our people to be persecuted. Then stop acting like a terrorist. Stop using your victimhood as an excuse for you to do stupid things. And yeah, this is the same Dawa Films who lots of YouTubers vigorously supported as a, a really nice guy and a poor, misunderstood, moderate Muslim who's just being unjustly targeted by Thunderfoot, who is being bigoted and intolerant and irrational and Islamophobic and not respecting his moderate beliefs. Well, not to dwell on if Dawa films count as a moderate or an extremist, because to be honest, the facts speak for themselves. You have much to thank him for, in that I can actually now, now that he's dropped my docs. You can't cut it in the academic world. Oh, don't you ever get tired of being wrong? Anyway, like I was saying, I can actually tell you what area of science I work in, and why I'm actually here on YouTube. Oh yeah, and for those who fancy a challenge, tell me what area of science I work in. See if you can get closer than this guy. I am at the point right now where I think Thunderfoot is the guy at the office who gets everyone else the coffee.